One of the topics that you can use Motul Slacker for is measuring stiction. What is that? It's basically the fork seal grabbing on to the chrome tube, or in this case, a tie nitride Olin's Roden Track fork. So stiction is when you pull it up, what it measures, and when you push it down and when it settles back up, what that measures. Stiction, therefore, is how much grease or lubrication is there on the fork oil seal to allow the movement of the fork up and down. So a relatively nice measurement is two to three mil millimeters of variance. If we're getting six or more, then it's probably time to grease the fork seals. And there's a video on that to make sure that stiction is at a minimum. Why is it so important? Well, if fork sticks and moves and sticks and moves and sticks, then the fluid action of the fork is gone and it could introduce something called chatter where it's breaking its movement and the movement of the fork action is sudden. So using Motul Slacker, we can figure out what we've got. So what we need to do now is figure out where we're at. Our number showing on the tool is 15. So what we need to do is top it out, which we've already done to auto zero it. So what we've got to check now is top it out. What number do we get? push it down, let it settle, and what number do we get again, and do the maths between those two numbers. So, let's pick it up, and let it go. So we get 13, now push it down and let it settle. 17, three times for an average number. 13, 17. One more go. 13. 17. So in this instance, with the numbers we've got, we know the static sag, 13 to 17 is 4 millimeters. So it's right there, there or thereabouts. Could the seals be greased to get less stiction? Of course. Depends how much of a perfectionist you want to be. You'll never get rid of all stiction. Never. It'll never be zero all the time simply because you get the brakes up to 500 degrees, what does that do to grease? It melts grease. So seal grease can't last forever either. So regular servicing to keep stiction at its minimum will always keep fork travel fluid, which will give you much more information, better fork action, and a lot more control in the corner, especially when you're trail braking.